Hello, I'm Richard Vobes, the Bald Explorer, and you're Julia Hartley. And we are out on another little exploration. We're in West Sussex. We are very close to Fittleworth. In fact, Lower Fittleworth, I think it's called. I was going to say Lower Fittleworth. That's it. We're standing by the river. Uh, this is the River Rother. In, um, we're filming in December, early December, and it's one of those rare days. We've got sunshine, but it's very bright, isn't it? It is. Very it's very low and slanty, right in the eyes. Yeah, sorry about that. But yeah, I, the, you should be. <laughs> the reason... I wanted to start our video here because we're going to go and have a look at Lower Fittleworth. There's a lovely pub and there's some beautiful old Sussex houses in a little lane that runs off. But, are you alright? <laughs> yes, I'm fine. Sh shielding, you put your glasses on. There we go. Is that better? Yeah, bug-eyed. Bug-eyed. I've got glasses on. Behind us, have a look at this ladies and gentlemen, behind us we're going to start by the bridge which is this beautiful um, sort of pack horse bridge, I think dates back from the 16th century, mm. goes across the river rather here um, and it, it's widened now to take the main road. I don't oh, know yeah, if wasn't this... it heightened to our... Yeah and also during the uh, 18th century and I think the 1780s the middle section was raised so that barges could get underneath and bring goods up river. Anyway, uh, we're going to take a little stroll over the bridge and then up north towards the Swan Inn. Uh -huh. Ready? Yes. Let's go. It is a little wet under feet, underfoot, isn't it, at the moment? Yes. Is. But um, you can see actually, if I tilt the camera around this side, you can see that we're on a bank which heads back this way. There's a bit of a floodplain either side of us, and then the river. I'm imagining that that floodplain um, used to flood the roads, but they've built these banks up high, presumably to stop the water. Well, I suppose to stop the river from expanding too far. Yeah, so we're going to cross a little stile here. Rocky bits oh, it's nice. It's nice to get back out in the country. We haven't done a walk for a while, have we? We're going to head this way, and actually, um, we're going to we're going to walk over another bridge, which is, I think, it's called the the Clapper Bridge. So this is the main. This is the main bridge we're, we're strolling across down here. And this really is pretty. And off it meanders. And then a little further down is the second bridge. So this is the second bridge, the Clappers Bridge. And um, I've dumped my hat and my gloves and uh, picked up my other camera because I want to take some pictures. The lovely Julia has managed to get down over here. This is a single arch, I'm led to believe. So, is there a single arch there seems to down be. here? We can get down a little bit. Oh, there there's two. two. Oh, two arches. Okay. Now, be careful you don't fall yes. down, but... Very pretty. Um, if we cross over to the other side, we might see the mill, because yeah. this is part of the mill stream. Uh, get back out onto the road. And as you can see, it's gated off here. Again, I'm imagining this must have been widened to accommodate the road. But if I put the camera around here, maybe... We can just see. I'm not sure if you've managed to see that, but if we come level with the bridge over here and then look behind us, you'll see the old mill, presumably Fittleworth Mill, and uh, it must have been grinding flour at one point. Looks like it's a home now. Yeah. What a lovely home. Oh, beautiful. With all that running water going underneath your house, it must have. Must be fantastic. Nice view as well. Yeah. 
it's, uh, apart from this road, which is not overly busy, but reasonably busy. You I don't do suppose get... they hear it much over the water. No, that's true, <laughs> yeah. Right, well, we've crossed over the bridge and have a look at this, ladies and gentlemen. It's a rather nice um, little house here, or row of cottages, iron stone in there. But you pointed something out just um, before we filmed. This is the mill house. What were you looking at? Well, it looks like there's an original roof line there. Oh, yeah, within that, you see the smaller stones. Yeah. It, it makes that pattern. Mm. Yeah, so they must have. Um, it, well, obviously extended. extended the height of it. So it's, I don't suppose it would have been thatch originally, wouldn't it? Yeah, I imagine that's I that's room. probably true. Anyway. I mean, if you look in their um, in their yard, you can see they they either extended it, but they, um, or not. But it's, it's it's very imposing. Certainly, nice yard. The mill that's house, pretty. which obviously was next to the mill that we saw. Let's go past this. Lovely little windows here. There's a lot of this iron stone in this neck of the woods. Um, so it just makes you think there must have been a lot of ironworks, hammer ponds, as people, you know, maybe back as far as the Roman time, where they extra uh, extracted, well, in the Iron Age, where they're extracting iron from the land and with all the trees around there probably was um, charcoal burners to yeah. bring the temperature up enough to smelt the iron and then here you've got different type of uh, masonry it's very rough very coarse i think that's fittleworth stone They're big and chunky those ones now here we go we come into so, fittleworth and this is unusual look at this there's a really odd bar up there do you know what that was I don't, it's got up there Fittleworth 2000 it says on it with its um, the bar over it's kind of the pub sign I think I think that's really all it is but um, the swan, swan. <laughs> yeah 14th century isn't it it goes back to the 14th century and actually I'm going to cross over so you get to see a bit more of the uh, just this wonderful little bit of building as soon as we can look how um, tumbly it is tumbly I'm not sure that's the word <laughs> I'm looking for but you know it's lots of different periods in there it looks brilliant and on the top you've got half tiles and then at the bottom bit at the top is the Horsham slab which you get all around this um, in this part of West Sussex and then coming around to the front you've got the hung tiles You've got more of the Fittleworth stone and the front half looks like it's got more of that Horsham stone. But this is the this is the square. Wow. Or triangle, I guess. <laughs> I like the uh, funny faces on the doors. Oh yeah, I hadn't this noticed anyway. that before. Oh yes, because that was a little coaching in, wasn't it? That's right. Yeah, it a like coaching in. Uh, there's a... like you see some vague stable type shape. Well, you've got the archway there, there which is clearly... And then... I, from what I understand is this route would have taken you down to Arundel over Berry Hill um, and then back that way up to London and you it was a changing post where you would change your horses because Fresh you horses for the next leg. the next leg which was climbing up Berry Hill which is a very very steep hill and you'd need fresh horses if you were coming down from London yeah and then across up here past more tiles and uh, different, I mean that ironstone is all over the place, although up here actually is not as much. It's so cute, I mean, it's, it's lots of little nooks. They're brilliant shapes aren't they, the architecture. Like this one, the shape of this one here. I'll just come round here, yeah, just look at that sloping roof. I mean that must have been a timber frame at one time, infilled. And look how low the door is. Yes. Well, maybe it's just the way it the way it's it looking works. back down which looks terrific yeah amazing and then I believe at the top end here just past oh look at this amazing house the Grange if that's not a grand house I don't know what is that's very Georgian and then finally 
past what looks like the old stable block. I don't know. Lovely. Look at all this, beautiful. And then a bit of weatherboard on the front of this building. It's what must have been an old barn. In Lovely, this day. look at it. It's terrific, isn't it? Some fantastic window shapes up there. <laughs> yeah. And then this is a, a footpath. It says Rotherwood, and you can go up here past the cows and beyond. And those trees to our left I've, is um, the next port of our call, which we're going to do in our second video. Cheese. We're going to go through, I think it's called Hesworth Common, I'm not quite sure. Um, but if you follow this lane right up, it winds round and you can get to it. But um, we're going to slightly cheat because I want to go to St Mary's Church in Fittleworth and start there on that walk. Anyway. Cool. Hope you've enjoyed this little meander. Thank you, Julia. It's been good, hasn't it? Yeah, it's been lovely. lovely. Nice to get out in the fresh air again. It's yeah, been a while. It has. <laughs> Don't forget to leave a comment, make um, any suggestions of places you'd like us to go and explore, and of course, become a patron and support the channel. Yes. And subscribe. Subscribe and like and share. Yeah. <laughs> Till the next time, from Julia and I, goodbye. Ciao for now.